What's going on everybody? Thumper Fishing. Okay, today is uh, July 12th, 2024. Uh, we got a tropical system building up, uh, but more so northern Florida. But we should still be getting a little bit of nasty weather coming this way, but later this evening. So we have an open window this morning, and I told you guys I'd be getting that kayak out there. I wanted to get it out at least once so I could make a video this morning. So I'll spend Friday evening putting this together. We're gonna go meet up with a friend. We're gonna go to Cocoa Beach, but we're not gonna fish the beach side. We're gonna fish the uh, west side of Cocoa Beach and we're gonna be fishing the Banana River. But instead of the um, mangroves and flats, that, that area that we fished before, the last, what, two or three times we've been there, we are thinking about possibly fishing the canals, going the opposite direction. And there's tons of canals back in there with a lot of homes, but, um, what I was thinking is just, you know, water's been so hot, it's been so hot that maybe they like those deeper canals and those docks and the structure. So, I mean, we'll see, you know. Um, my buddy I'm meeting up with, you know, I haven't fished, you know, I, I took a good two weeks off of fishing. He's been tearing it up, you know, I think the last trip he went, he got a 35 inch snook. So, I'm gonna have to up my game today and see how we can do, so. We're gonna head over there, try and get going. Like I said, I'll, I'll put more of my rant and raves towards the end of this. But um, yeah, let's go get after this. Go get launched, and uh, it's uh, six on the dot. So let's go get after it. See you over there. getting started I caught a little trout off camera while we were waiting just a little one but uh, yeah it's it was 80 degrees at 6 o'clock so it's gonna be a hot one but uh, yeah <laughs> sprained my wrist but uh, we're gonna make it happen got our buddy with us all right push off all right here we go Oh, it's been a while. I needed this. Say hi. I'll follow you. Um, All we right. Got a, we got the kayakers coming in. All right. That sun is shining. So we caught that little trout on. I'm having pretty good luck with this savage shrimp. I just squirted juice on me.
All right, well, let's go get after it. Oh, Ori. Another little trout. All right, all right, all right. Chill, chill, chill. No, he's in the boat. I'll oh, come here. You want to get free, right? Nice little trout. Oh, already. Tell you, man, this this savage shrimp strikes again. Nice little trout. That's three trout so far. Can we make it four back to back to back to back? Give it a little shot of that Dr. Juice shrimp flavor. right along that edge there. Marking stuff in this deep hole right here, so we'll give it a go. Oh, there we go. Catfish, I think, is staying pretty dang deep. Yep, so cat. I was wondering what was in here eating my stuff. But...
pretty little sail cap. Slide my glasses. We're using this by Fish or Die. I'll put the, the name of it right here. I can't remember it uh, off, off the top of my head. It's one of their saltwater plastics. I'm hoping to try and get a tarpon in this deep hole, you know. I've hooked tarpon, but I have not. I have not uh, been able to land one, or leader one for that matter. Because if they're bigger than what, like 45, 48 inches, something like that. Um, you can't take them out of the water. So. Alright, see if we can't get a, another one here. Those catfish are so aggressive right now that they're chasing it to the top. So. Lots of trout today. I'm going for something a little different. It's not a trip without a catfish. Never a trip without a catfish. Just throw it along this wall over here. I 
where my cast is until I realize what it is. That is a fish. Oh, I spooked him. That is a huge red. Dude, I think he went right underneath that little thing right there. You guys saw him, right? That was a huge red. Let's see if we can't go chase him down. Dude, I didn't even cast near him and he, he booked it. I wonder if that's what was blowing up that bait earlier. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Where did you go? Tucked back up in here, huh? I'm gonna start heading back. Oh boy, it's freaking hot as ball, son. I have no, how hot does my phone say it is here? Let's see. Ninety-four with the humidity it's supposed to feel like a hundred and two. I've been catching so many trout I've lost count. Little croakers, whiting. That's a big drop off right there. But um, yeah, just hot, hot, hot. I, I didn't even turn on the camera because it's just, they're so small. But hey, you know what though? Catching fish is catching fish, so. We tried the canals and the, it's just like a desert. I'm not, didn't even see a single tarpon roll. Wasn't marking anything. We, you know, I've had better luck here working the mangroves, but, um, yeah, just lots of little fish. I've heard some big ones blow up, but they're so deep in those mangroves that I can't. I'm just so surprised I haven't got a snook. I mean, I've been, see, there's another hit from something small. I'm just so surprised I haven't got a snook because I've been casting it in these mangroves all over the place. We tried paddle tails, jerk bait. I've had the best luck today on this savage year. Yeah, see a little fish just chased it all the way up. Lots of little fish. Lots of little fish. Oops, that's not good. That's not good.
This log up here looks pretty fishy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 96 degrees outside with the humidity. It's feeling like a hundred something. So my phone says, and I will confirm that is what it feels like. Hot. But, um, yeah, I mean, we caught lots of fish today, just nothing uh, very big. We caught, uh, uh, we caught some trout while we were waiting in the morning, just standing on the dock. And then we worked the mangroves over to the canals. Um, caught a couple more small little trout and uh, I think they were whiting or croakers. I was catching them on my little savage shrimp lure. Went to can the canals thinking that, you know, I, I'm, I was looking for the tarpon. You know, those deep canals out there, those deep holes. And then I figured, you know, it's being so hot, they'll like that deep water or underneath the docks of all those homes. And I didn't see any signs of any fish. I wasn't marking any fish in my fish finder. It was dead. So I didn't record much out there. And so then we decided that we would just kind of work the mangroves again over to like a golf course, I think it was. And um, yeah, I mean, once again, just lots of small little trout. I mean, it was getting to the point where I was getting so many little trout and little whiting and things like that, that uh, I just stopped recording. I mean, I had a couple little redfish like this big chasing my little shrimp. Uh, we did catch a decent sized sail cat on a paddle tail. I was throwing paddle tails, jerk baits, lures, but I was getting all my hits on that uh, savage gear shrimp that you know that mimics that shrimp. So uh, that was the ticket for me today. But uh, yeah, and then uh, on the way back, you know, I fished the mangroves where it's a little bit shallower, and I was standing up, and at one point, I thought it was a dolphin. Because I had seen lots of dolphins uh, throughout the day today. But I thought it was a dolphin coming right towards me. So I didn't cast at it or anything, you know, because it was a pretty big size wake. I didn't want to, like, snag a manatee or a dolphin or something like that. So by the time I saw it, I realized that it was a, it was a massive redfish just cruising it. Um, unfortunately, he had something else in mind. He uh, did, was not having it. So I threw my shrimp. No no joy so uh and I, he went back up i'm pretty sure he went back up in those mangroves there is big fish in there i was seeing signs of them but they are so far back up in those mangroves that i can't i can't cast it up up to them i even tried you know getting up into the mangroves and pitching it under there and some of those areas are just so deep and that's where they were so the big fish that I was finding, they're either in the middle, that deep water there, or they are um, deep up in those mangroves, which is normal for this time of year. Summertime, it's hot, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and then at one point, I saw something going for my shrimp, and it was uh, like a three foot, I'm guessing, bull shark just cruising trying to eat my shrimp so I was like oh no because I you know it's my light setup he would have tore right through it so um, we saw lots of stuff today just just all we could catch was just really really small stuff so anyway like I said I'm ranting I'm raving here but it was good to get back on the kayak um, it's just summer times there it's a grind and uh, so I think that the so that area, Thousand Islands here in Cocoa Beach, I think that's a really good area probably this fall to fish. Like I said, there's fish in there. And on the way back too, I even saw a couple good sized snook cruising those mangrove lines, but they just, they weren't having it. They weren't looking to, to mound down or anything. They were moving from point A to point B and then going back up in those mangroves. So it is what it is, but uh, like I said, had a blast today. Appreciate you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one, everybody. Tight lines. Peace.